Welcome to another In Wheel Time podcast, a 30-minute mini version of the In Wheel Time car show that airs live every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central. <laughs> Boy, I, you know wow. what? If there was ever a way to cut it any closer... Wow. Then, uh, I, that, that's an award winner right there. I don't know how... I'm not involved in this, but between David, Don, and Mike... They seem to reach deep into their bag of tricks, pull out a handful of pixie dust, sprinkle it all over this equipment, and it works. That's what I see. Did you record that, I hope? We're going to play that back. <laughs> welcome Incredible. To the, welcome to Hewlett Park in Granbury, Texas, and the Lone Star Street Rod Association's 49th Annual State Run. This is the End Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Just ahead, more attendees from this weekend's big show. Plus, uh, we'll have our regular reviews, including new car reviews, Jeff's weekly unique feature, upcoming events, the racing calendar, and auto history, all on today's End Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Howdy, along with Mike out of this world, Mars, who's hiding behind a speaker he's over there. But I, the uh, Well, okay, yeah, I'm glad that he's making the adjustments. We need more Jeff Zekin is yep. next to me, and on the other side of me, it's David mm. Ainsley. So we're having the Star Spangled Banner yeah, we are. sung. Let's listen. Can you put that up? That was beautiful. Thank you, and honor to our country and our flag. God bless you all for being here. I will have a good time through the day. We have that freedom in our country that we can do these kind of events and honor our country flag. For those of you that are participating, we're going to listen in on this for just a second. Well, no, he's just talking about homework, so yeah. we can continue on. We're waiting for our next guest. We got a car in stage. Yeah, and we do. Oh, oh well, there God, she is, yes. right there. Yes, but wait. Oh, the, the ladies wait. are the ladies are waddling down here. I didn't I didn't mean that. We got it was just Tammy right there. I know it's Tammy. Did you hear me? Did you hear me say that? Uh, well, Good. I'm, I'm glad. I heard because I would have gotten in deep trouble if somebody I'll, I'll had heard that. I'll repeat it if you want. Ladies and gentlemen, putting her back to you right now. Oh my. Tammy Dooley from the Granbury Convention and Visitors Bureau. This, thank you so much. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, and, and, uh, yes, that's David. Just said it anywhere there. That's fine. Thank you very much. Are you going to Are you gonna be our guest? Oh, good. Sit down. Yes. So, uh, Leslie, Tammy Dooley. Kathy, Tammy Dooley. Mm-hmm. Donna, Tammy, Tammy Dooley. Dooley. Yeah. And those Becky, are, Tammy Dooley. Becky. <laughs> and you're a lovely wife. Yep. Kathy. Kathy. Leslie, there. Becky, Don. I don't think it's going to go. Yeah, I was going to say that. Uh, so apparently. So the microphone. Pull it up tight. There so you go. Appar Perfect. Apparently you are a big, huge star here. Yeah, you're something. You're all that in a bag of chips. Because we just heard all about you. Yeah. And, uh, and timing is everything. I pay them a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, Tammy Dooley, we're up in your neck of the country. Isn't it great? Thank it you is. for having us. Thank you for the breeze. Wonderful. Hey, we've had rain for days, and then this weekend is perfect. Yeah. It so, is. Yeah. Yeah. But we're look at this. Look at all these people. Is this not amazing? Mm -hmm. It truly is. I mean, yeah. you know, in years past, it's always been great, but I think this is a bigger show. I, it is. It is a bigger show. Yeah. So, yeah, I, we're very excited. They come into town, and, and everybody loves it. I mean, obviously, you see the cars everywhere, and people who don't know it's going on are like what's going on that's cool <laughs> yeah. follow the cars yeah, yeah. <laughs> we saw them at the restaurants well hotels. we met your we met your in biggest friend a yeah. fan the former mayor Nin. then hewlett is you talk about a rock star he's great 
He is great. He's, he he was mayor, I don't know how many years. Ten years. Ten years. Okay, great. So you know more than I do. <laughs> and they named the park after him. Uh, no, they no, didn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> well, I think that wasn't he the one that kind of uh, gave gave you the, the nod to come on in? We, we need you, and yes. please come and work here? He kind of probably got the ball rolling, and, yeah. and so that was great. You and, were out in West Texas, from what I understand. Yes, I was in Midland, and uh, I had a place here, and uh, he knew my background, and um, we sold our company the next thing I know, here I am. And, uh, you know, loved every, every minute. I was only going to work a year or two and because I was really going to retire. And um, when we sold the company, and I was too young. That's at least what I tell myself. Right. <laughs> Got to have something to do. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So, um, yeah, so it's been great, and we've um, really done a lot. My background was managing convention centers and doing events and stuff, so it was a natural fit. And so the conference center here is part of my department, and I just have so much fun with it. And what does Tom slash Mike do? Uh, well, what he did. Besides being your husband. He's he's now retired, and he told someone last night at dinner he was my arm candy. So There you, you go. Know, hey. That's, that's <laughs> like us. Same thing with us. Yeah. yeah, yeah we're, <laughs> where's, where's Leslie? That, that's a good Good line for me. She's waddling up this way. She's waddling up this yeah, way. Waddling. Yeah. He, he is supposed to pop in. He had to go take care of a truck situation. His truck got um, dented with the last hailstorm, and so he's getting a rental truck and blah, blah, blah. So he's supposed to pop in somewhere down here. And last year you had to leave because you're having a grandbaby. Was that last yes, year? Yes, yes. Uh, who will turn one on Tuesday? There you go. So see? I'm I'm headed to Angel Fire Tuesday. David to wrote see. that down. He's got it in his diary. Yes, yeah. to see my little little Mike. So. Yeah. Well, um, I'm her arm candy. Okay, I love it. Yeah. So the, the, she's a school teacher. So wherever it is that we go in in uh, in, in Sugarland, Texas, um, Miss A, Miss A, Miss A, Miss A. Yeah. Yeah, and exactly. I just kind of back away and go, well, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that's great. I know it is. I it, love to see it. It's, it's wonderful. And, you know, Mike had a big career, and um, and he managed convention centers and venues his whole life and big arenas. Is that where you met him? Yes. I you was, met him at work. I met him at work. Um, you will laugh. On our wedding night, uh, he had Clint Black in concert, and uh, we went and ate Mexican food, and he went to work. And so we tell everybody. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Short honeymoon. We we tell everybody that um, Clint Black played at our wedding reception, uh, and he did because we were both there. Take so there you, yeah, go. There you, you know, go. So did he bring you up on stage? Uh, no, we no. Mike was working, and I wasn't working in that particular industry at the time. I was. Um, working for Hilton Hotels doing convention sales and big events. So, so that was your wedding reception. It yeah, was. You didn't have time for that. We got married in his office by the county judge, and it's been 35 years. Wow. <laughs> so You're not old enough. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. 45 for us. Oh, I love Coming that. Up 45. I love yeah. that. There he is. There's Tom. I mean, Mike. <laughs> right there. <laughs> You gotta come around this here. This is this is my arm candy there right here. Come around you, here. You know, you know <laughs> here next to her. You know it's it's so it's so. Ladies funny. and gentlemen, <laughs> it's, it's the Dooley me, family. The Dooley family here. <laughs> 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 well, you know, it's uh, it's interesting because of all the years that we've been coming up here, we just heard about you. And I yeah, told her, I said, yeah. you know what, I, I don't think you really <laughs> are. Yeah. 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 It's not really and, true. Uh, and, you know, that we, uh, I guess, I have really kind of not made fun of, but brought you into the fold of our humor here and started calling you Tom Dooley. Yeah, so I don't you. know he you did. as yeah, Mike. In my world, you're Tom. <laughs> well, yeah. and uh, Mayor said, they, they kept calling him uh, Tom and I, I told him no it's Mike it's Mike and and he said then I, f- I figured out what they're doing yeah. <laughs> we even we yeah. even sang to you last last you show did. we sang to you <laughs> well that's the problem a lot of people are you know, <laughs> well, well, right. yeah. yeah I'm not yeah yeah he's yeah. one that brought it up because he's old enough yeah yeah so and Mike hears that a lot pleasure well, to meet you, you finally all yeah all of you I watch what you do especially when Tammy's on there and Mm-hmm. Well, th- we, yeah, well, thank you, and, and we we uh, we appreciate her a thank lot. You. And it's always a play. You know, it's it's fun because I don't look at it 
Because this, this could turn into one big commercial, and some people may say, well, it is a big commercial. Well, okay, if you want to call it that. But this is really kind of like family because there are certain people that are associated with us, whether they like it or not, <laughs> that, we, that we've that we brought into the fold, and you're one of them. And uh, we, we feel really close to you, and I, I know that Tom, Mike, would uh, appreciate that. Uh, because um, we respect what you do, and you've got a great personality, and you fit with us. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, that's one of the uh, really great things about what I do. Um, this weekend, it's all about these wonderful automobiles and Rick Neely and all of this we love. And then tomorrow, it may be some other sporting event or whatever it is and so it changes all the time so we get to see all that or a big fishing tournament or a big you know we had a literally had a brain surgeon convention not too long ago so we weren't invited to that (laughs) (laughs) i was was. (laughs) (laughs) but see what you say for that all the activities going on these ladies do that with us. It's, it's, it's like our little road show, our little circus going out in the community as well. Not as large as yours and doesn't have as big an impact as yours, but we, we help support as well. I, I know. It's great. I told them what you said last night at dinner that you were my arm candy. So, <laughs> Well, Tammy's uh, really modest. She's uh, maybe the best in Texas at what she does. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, That's what we heard. I told maybe you, I, I pay these people. Yeah. I pay these people. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't get paid. I'm I'm honest man. Oh, you're way. the candy. You don't have to once I bought, I stayed bought. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I I know that you're proud to have her as your wife, and as but she's, you know, a down home, honest person, and that means the world, you know, because as you know, in our business, and I consider broadcasting is kind of we all kind of in this self promoting kind of thing or whatever it is that you're doing. That um, there are certain people that you you just you go out and you attach yourself to because they're honest, they're fun to work with, and it's a pleasure. And 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 it, that's what this event Thank and you. you've brought us to this event, the Lone Star Street Rod Association. We got a chance to meet you, and and it's just been really fulfilling for us. It makes it worthwhile because this is the furthest we've ever traveled uh, to do our show. We've done lots of shows. And this year in particular, we've done a lot of remote broadcasts at various car shows across mainly around the Houston mm-hmm. area. Mm-hmm. But uh, this one is, is special. It takes us a while to get here. We work to get here. Matter of fact, I just got finished uh, visiting my daughter in Denver. And so we had arranged it. So we drove to Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, took the flight to Denver, back here, then drove here with the car that we left at the airport. Now we'll drive back today. but. You, you get it. I mean, it's work, but it's not work. It's fun to do. Well, and and see, that's music to my ears because all these people are doing, you know, something similar, going out of their way to come to Granbury. They have choices. They can go anywhere they want, and hopefully they have the best experience, and then they come back and visit all the time. Well, you know, Tammy, it's funny because the – Somebody asked me, what, what's, what's the deal with the car thing? What do, you, what do you do? Well, you know, the cars are just the object, but it's the friendship and the, and the partnerships. I would have not met him or any of these guys. Well, David, I've known she from broadcasting. She just met a student. Miss A just met a student. There you go. <laughs> and so it, it's one of those kind of deals where it's the camaraderie, it's the friendship, the people that you know that bring you all together. It's like going to a, a reunion party kind of. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Um, you know, whether we're doing a dog show, whether we're doing whatever it is that is the commonality brings the people here. And yeah. so um, we just appreciate it. We know that they have lots of places they can go. Yeah. And so we just try to make this a good a good place for And them. what a day. There's not a cloud in the sky. Nice I, I breeze. It's it's so beautiful. Now, are it's both great. of you guys Compared from the Midland Odessa area? Uh, no. Uh, Midland. Well, we're not really from Midland. We were working. Working there. there. Oh, where are I'm you from? Dallas. I grew up in Oak Cliff. So. Okay, and you? Uh, I was an uh, army brat. So all over oh, the world. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, my father was. That's in where the she m- learned her skills. Yeah. Being all over the world. Yeah. Well, it does help. Um, one year, you won't believe this. But one year, I actually had to move schools. I was in, I think, sixth grade Pull seven times. Up. Seven times. One year. And because my dad was shipped all over the place. And so you learn real quick to uh, 
you meet a lot of great diverse people you have to adapt you make friends really fast and lifelong friends all over the world mm -hmm. and it, it was one of it was a privilege being a military you know child sure yeah and whereas my brother who is wonderful uh he did the opposite approach you know he he didn't like to be pulled out of one situation and and um he was more one place forever but i loved it i loved it a bit, yeah because well you immersed in it from birth i yeah. guess <laughs> you know well uh -huh. we uh really want to you know, just tell you how much this show means mm -hmm. because we've been in the business together. She's been on the promotion end and does a lot more than I ever did. But these kind of shows are visual shows, mm -hmm. and they bring people here to mm -hmm. town, and they usually have money to spend. Yeah. I mean, we're not – these things don't, don't come cheap, you know. Right, correct. Right. Right. Street mm -hmm. rod. So it, it's really good you came here. and We're proud of it, yeah. Well, we are, I mean, we are proud to be yeah. here. It's rolling art, actually, you yeah. know. Yes, it is. Uh, well, I, and I learn something new every time I come. We were talking uh, to a gentleman earlier that has a uh, 57 Ford, Ford Fairlane. Uh, absolutely stunningly beautiful car. We'd never met him before. And uh, he drove in not too far from here. And I told him, I said, I'm not a, I'm not, I've never been a Ford guy. But that car, and he's staying in the hotel with us. And I saw it sitting in the hotel. And Leslie will tell you, I thought, wow, look at that car. And then to tell the story about how he bought it, mm -hmm. which was interesting because in he bought it off of eBay. Uh, what? I exactly. <laughs> and he's the second owner. And the second owner of the car. He bought it from a family. Well, that's a win-win, right? Yep. Yeah. And uh, it's been completely restored and customized for him, but it still maintains its original look. The paint is magnificent, and he drives it everywhere. He doesn't trailer it and that sort of thing. And it, it's interesting because we started talking about the different styles of cars. And I didn't realize it, but that particular car outsold the 57 Chevy, which is a classic, an icon. It's a one-year-only car for the body style on it. Um, you know, you hear the Tri-5s, the 55, 56, 57. That one behind you is a 56. And the 57 is completely different. They only made it for one year because in 58 it was a completely different body style. And I didn't realize that it wasn't the number one seller in 1957. That Ford was. Who was to think? Yeah, how do you find these things out by coming to these shows? Exactly. Well, see, it's, that's great because I know nothing about. You're like talking a foreign language to me right now because <laughs> I know nothing about automobiles, but but it's fascinating. And you know, I I t say all the time when we have a car show like this, this is our largest one. But it's like conventioneers on wheels yeah. because you know it's it, that's what it is to us. And then I learn about automobiles that I know nothing about. You know, I'm going to switch gears. How many folks live in Granbury? What's the population of Granbury? It's about 11,000 here in town. And um, but we have all these communities around like we live in Pecan Plantation. And then there's De Cordova Bend and there's all these great uh, like country Little club pockets. communities. And they're all around us. So just right around us is about 75,000. So, oh. Tammy, let me ask you something. You got any cows in the backyard over at Charles Place? I live on a golf course. I see. So, so <laughs> they don't allow so cows. <laughs> so it, it's either so put electric. Or, leash. It's either electric or gas. That's all you well, worry about over there. Exactly. Exactly. Tonight they have. A, they're having what a big member tournament today. Uh, is that the, what it is? Uh, member guest. Member guest. This whole so y'all are playing in that? Y'all play? No, no. I do. I just. Uh, you know, are you not a golfer? I love to golf. It's just hot, and I'm busy, and I work for her. And I mean, let's be honest. She <laughs> you got to come much. make an appearance here today. <laughs> <laughs> no, I Candy like this. melts in the sun. <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, you know, I like that. I he's, remember that. He's a fair weather golfer. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to go make a phone call. Try to get a rental car done. I, but I, I really am. enjoyed meeting you guys. You Thank you, you very much, I, uh, Mike. I enjoy when you rag on me on. <laughs> you know, it's all love. <laughs> but it's it, all uh, good fun and love and. Yeah. We, we mean nothing but the best for it. Well, yeah. it's uh, interesting, guys. It's good to have you here. Yeah. Thank you. It's a Thank pleasure. You. And, Tabby, it's great to have you here with us today to see you in person, our, our once-a-year person-to-person kind of thing. Well, and, uh, yes, it's great seeing you guys inside your little goodie boxes. Uh -oh. I, we have the best swag in Granberry, so you have to open those up. And uh, inside is so you can take with you your own Granberry socks. Oh, yeah. 
We need we, we need them. who doesn't need socks. Right, and they're cranberry, so you you can uh, think about it next year. Uh, I'll wear them next year. And, you know, I'm thinking about buying one of those uh, too tight, too short suits. <laughs> And those those socks would really set it off. That lady had checkered checkered uh, flag pants. I know, and that uh, oh, well, according to the person was, uh, I guess Vic Edelbrock's Edelbrock. daughter. Something like Edelbrock. that. Edelbrock, you ever you ever heard Edelbrock? It's you have not. Engine part. Okay. Oh. Yeah, they make engine parts. Okay. Aftermarket, very famous company, and uh, she had some checkerboard pants on that were really tight. And I told her, I said. I want those. <laughs> Tell me where you got those because I'd look really good in those. You need all that. I Y'all do need, need all that He wears that red stuff. pumps every now and then. I yes. do. I have been known to yes. break out the pumps. Yes. Tammy, it's great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We Thank love you. you for being here. Thank you. Love you so much. So much. You bet. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Time now for a quick break here on the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Uh-oh. Again, coming to you today from the Lone Star Street Rod Association, state run at Hewlett Park in Granbury, Texas. Hold yep. On. We're uh, just south of the Fort Worth area, and we thank you for joining us. Back after this quick break. Pro-Am Auto Accessories has been serving <laughs> Houston's auto enthusiasts since 1984, providing world-class products for sports cars, European sedans, and American muscle. Pro-Am is known as the place to go to find exclusive and hard-to-find parts and accessories. Pro-Am is one of the very first distributors in the USA for brands such as Recaro, Redline, Momo, Corbo, and Simpson. Located in the heart of Houston's premier retail and service corridor, the Galleria area, Pro-Am's walk-in storefront includes an 8,000-square-foot warehouse, showroom, and installation bays. Pro-Am not only sells parts and accessories, but also offers installation and service. Pro-Am is now reaching a worldwide audience through Pro-Am.com, taking its local reputation to the rest of the world. At Pro-Am Auto, you'll be dealing with a small group of professionals who truly want to help you with your automotive needs. If you don't see what you're looking for on the website, call, and Pro-Am will lend you a hand. Pro-Am Auto, 6125 Richmond at Green Ridge in Houston's Galleria area. Call them at 713-781-7755. Want to feel good about something special you did for someone special? In Wheel Time and the original Loopy Tortilla Group of Tex-Mex restaurants have joined together to help a very worthy cause, God's Garage, a Christian-based 501c3 charity. We know there are lots of places and organizations out there where you can donate a car, truck, or SUV. But we're asking you, our car enthusiast family, to consider donating to God's Garage. Visit GodsGarage.org and learn about its mission, the women that have been helped, how each one is screened, and about their Restore You program. A car donation is an easy way to make a difference in the lives of others. God's Garage needs good operating vehicles, but will take all types in working and non-working condition. Make your heart and soul feel good by donating your gently used vehicle and help support single mothers, widows, and wives of deployed military at GodsGarage.org. Welcome back to the Ed Will Time Car Talk Show. Today coming to you from the state run of the Lone Star Street Rod Association uh, in Texas. And we've got a full... Hewlett Park packed yeah. of really cool street rods. As a matter mm-hmm. of fact, uh, we're going to have another one of the owners with us here in just a moment. Um, and really, I don't have enough time to to get going in, into anything. I, I do have our Hemmings Sold Cars Roundup, and I had one car in particular for you, Jeff Zeke. Uh-oh. It's a 2006 Cadillac XLRV. Oh, XLRV. That's a golfer's car. Yeah, it's the it's it's based on a Corvette that the Cadillac yep. tried to do. So mm-hmm. it's got the Corvette chassis underneath it, and uh, it's got the Cadillac V series engine under the hood. Yeah, I know it's all about It's a convertible. Those. You see it. And what right year? There? What year again? This is a 2006. What do you think that a 2006 beautiful silver looks like? It's all stock now. I don't know any, how many miles it's got on it, but it looks really nice. Forty-two thousand. Forty-two thousand. Mr. Mars, what do you think that would be? 2006 Cadillac XLR V. It's a two-seat coupe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would go with um, 28. 28? What's well, your guess? Uh, 35. 35. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. Uh, apparently, uh, Hemmings, this car was sold on Hemmings last week. Uh, for uh, twenty four thousand one hundred fifty dollars. Oh, okay. That's cool. right in your ballpark, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, we see, I would, f- that's one can like I kind of shy away from. Where's Why? Kathy? I just don't like the styling. I, I don't. You don't? No. 
Jeff. He wants you know, a wagon. I, I, he you wants know, a I know what it really is. You don't want to get that bald head sunburned. Yeah, and all the hair blowing in my <laughs> eyes and all that. Yeah, so, it happens. Uh huh. That's that's what the real story. That's no, just is. not a good style for is me. Is that a Studebaker? Is that a Studebaker? That is. That's a Studebaker, Studebaker truck. pickup truck. That's a Studi. They're so they're so rare. You never see them. That is a beautiful one. Oh, uh, the uh, American Graffiti. Yes. Oh my God! It is American Graffiti. So these are the things that you're missing by not being here today. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, next year, you next, got a year to plan. And next year is the big 50th celebration, and it's going to be bigger and better. Yeah. We're going to wait here for it. Yes, we are, because we want it. I think Dave is going to retire out here, so that or the UP. You could do this. Yeah, The lake is right there, 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 there. It's all around. It's all yeah, around. Well, actually, it is, yeah. It is kind of all around. But uh, at any rate, this is a, a beautiful place, and uh, we're honored to be here to celebrate cars, because that's basically what it is, and all different makes and models and mm-hmm. types and styles that you could possibly imagine. And we got one on deck. And these cars are all driven in here, so it's not just, they're displayed, but they're all looking good. Isn't that Milner's car? Could be yep, Milner. Milner. Milner's car. All right. Well, it's time now for us to take a quick break here on the End Wheel Uh-oh. Time Car Talk Show. And we are going to have more of our show, our last hour of the show, uh, actually half hour of our show, coming up right after this quick break. Everyone at the Tailpipes and Tacos Cruise Inn at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex in Katy, thank you for participating in the best cruise in around and look forward to seeing you again. You'll hear about the next cruise in date right here on In Real Time. Next time you're in the West Houston Energy Corridor area, be sure and stop in at the original Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex at I-10 and Highway 6 or the Katy location on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard. When passing through Beaumont or College Station, stop in and have Loopy's award-winning beef fajitas and frozen margaritas. There's always a celebration celebration at Loopy Tortilla. Loopy Tortilla founder Stan Holt and his wife Sheila are winning racers on the NHRA drag racing circuit and have a collection of hot rods and classics that everyone appreciates. Look for them at the next Tailpipes and Tacos Cruise In. The date will be announced soon and will once again be held at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex on 99 and Kingsland Boulevard, just south of I-10 and Katy. We'll give you all the details right here on the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show and online. Donations benefit God's Garage. We'll see you then. You own a car you love. Well, why not let Gulf Coast Auto Shield protect it? Houstonian John Gray invites you to his state-of-the-art facility to introduce you to his specialist team of auto enthusiasts. We promise you'll be impressed. Whether you're looking to massage your original paint to a like-new appearance, apply a ceramic coating, install a paint protection film, nano-ceramic window tent, or new windshield protection called ExoShield, Gulf Coast Auto Shield is where Houston's car people go. Curbed your wheels? Instead of buying new, why not have them repaired? How about a professionally installed radar detector? Gulf Coast Auto Shield does that too. Get a peek inside the shop and look at the services offered by getting online and heading to gcautoshield.com. Better yet, stop by their facility at 11275 South Sam Houston Tollway, just south of the Southwest Freeway, and get a personal tour. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is your place to go for all things exterior. Call them today, 832-930-5655 or gcautoshield.com. That's it for this podcast episode of the In Wheel Time Car Show. I'm Don Armstrong, inviting you to join us for our live show at Every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and our InWheelTime.com website. Podcasts are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeart Podcast, Podcast Addict, TuneIn, Pandora, and Amazon Music. Keep listening, and we'll see you soon.